And I uh, now recognize our next witness, Mr. Martin, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Chairman Brown, Ranking Member Tonko, and Congresswoman, Cong excuse me, Congresswoman Adams, thank you for the opportunity to testify today's hearing about NASA's efforts to protect its information technology resources. As has been pointed out, NASA's IT assets include more than 550 information systems that control spacecraft, collect and process scientific data, and enable NASA personnel to collaborate with contractors, academics, and members of the public around the world. NASA is a regular target of cyber attacks, both because of the large size of its networks and because those networks contain highly sought after information. Moreover, some NASA systems house sensitive information, which, if lost or stolen, could result in significant financial loss, adversely affect national security, or significantly impair our nation's technological advantage. At the same time, NASA's statutory mission to share its scientific information presents heightened IT security challenges because the ag agency's connectivity with outside organizations provides cyber criminals with a larger target compared to many other government agencies. In 2010 and 2011, NASA reported 5,408 computer security incidents that resulted in the installation of malicious software on or unauthorized access to its systems. These incidents range from individuals testing their hacking skills to well-organized criminal enterprises seeking to exploit NASA's systems for profit to intrusions that may have been sponsored by foreign intelligence services. Taken together, these intrusions have affected thousands of NASA computers, caused significant disruptions to mission operations, and resulted in the theft of export-controlled and otherwise sensitive data. The OIG devotes substantial resources to examining NASA's efforts to protect its IT systems. Over the past five years, we've issued 21 audit reports containing 69 IT-related recommendations. To date, all but 18 have been closed. In addition, the OIG has conducted more than 16 investigations of breaches of NASA's networks, several of which have resulted in the arrests of individuals, as has been pointed out, in the U.S., China, Great Britain, Italy, Nigeria, Romania, Turkey, and Estonia. My written statement discusses in detail five issues that we believe constitute NASA's most pressing challenges in the admittedly difficult task of protecting the agency's IT information from loss or theft. Briefly, these challenges are, number one, lack of full awareness of agency-wide IT security posture. NASA's IT's assets generally fall into two categories, institutional systems and networks that support administrative functions, such as budgeting and human resources, and mission systems that support the agency's aeronautics, science, and space programs. While the CIO has the ability to implement security programs for NASA's institutional systems, she cannot fully account for or ensure that the agency's mission assets comply with appropriate IT security policies. Number two, shortcomings in implementing continuous monitoring. NASA has not fully transitioned from his, its historic snapshot approach for certifying the security of its IT systems to an approach that relies on a more comprehensive program of ongoing monitoring. Number three, the slow pace of encryption. NASA has been very slow to implement full disk encryption on its notebook computers and other mobile devices, exposing sensitive information to unauthorized disclosure when these devices are lost or stolen. OMB has reported a government-wide encryption rate for these devices of 54%. In contrast, at the beginning of this month, only 1% of NASA's portable devices have been encrypted. Number four, the ability to combat sophisticated cyber attacks. Increasingly, NASA has become a target of a sophisticated form of cyber attack known as an Advanced Persistent Threat, or APT. In fiscal year 2011 alone, NASA reported it was the victim of 47 such attacks, with 13 successfully compromising agency systems. And number five, transition to cloud computing. 
While cloud computing promises significant cost savings, NASA must carefully weigh potential risks, such as loss or compromise of its data hosted on the cloud. This concludes my remarks. I'd be pleased to answer any questions.